Peggy 16. Sega. Number one, I think the new players and hooking them and, and actually holding on to them, yeah. I think is going to be the multiplayer stuff, right? So I think yeah. I think absolutely longevity. the yeah. longevity of, of having a persistent character, you know, which creates effects and uses the more you use it, is going to be. The I think the other thing that's going to hook them is the fact that there's this kind of game legend that Shogun was really good, and therefore Shogun Two's coming out. That'll, you know, and it'll yeah. in exactly the same ways as kind of like Dune, Dune Two. Yep, and building on where we were with Napoleon, yeah. and Napoleon yeah, was a, a Napoleon brought a lot of a lot of new players in. Yeah. I'm sure this one's going to be much easier to get into than the others as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, because it start, no, it starts off so small. Yeah. You're starting off with one region. You and don't have to learn hundreds of new units. Um, that's for sure. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's it's focused. Easier yeah. to get yeah. into. Yeah, I think the, I think the, the campaign size, the campaign makeup, and even just the theme is is fairly accessible. Right, back to rock paper scissors a little bit more as well. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, there's a clearer is relationship absolutely. between yeah. things, yeah. which you know. The, the the nice thing is though that that doesn't then stop the unit development stuff going on, mm. so that you can nurture a unit through that. Oh, it'll allow more customization. Yeah, there'll be more customization of units as well. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. To appeal to new people is to, is to make it more yours. Mm. And if you're making it more yours, then it's much less a case of approaching something created by someone else that you need to learn. And adapt to, um, and as a result, of starting with an acorn, you know, you create your characters, you grow them. It's your experience and your story. Artwork, music, and feel. I mean, yeah, hit them so. straight on. Art. I Just mean, even with wallop, the, with cherry, cherry blossom, following cherry blossom. Even with the with the initial with the initial teaser trailers that people were getting, this is a game. I mean, we had to put this is in-game footage on one of the videos just because people wouldn't believe that it was a game um, that looked so good. So, yeah. I mean, the initial, yeah. so it's going to be the wallop factor. When you Visuals are the wallop. I think the, mm. the, the spectacle of battle is going to be a big wallop. Mm. Um, and then I think gradually you realise just how much is in there. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. You know, different areas of the game, yeah. all one and by one. And you suddenly realise, oh, I haven't seen this yeah. bit before. What's yeah. all this about? And I'm just constantly wow. surprised. When and, uh, you realise you've clocked up 200 hours. Yeah. 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 2,000 in some people's case. Or 2,000. 2000. And sure. there's still surprises in there, you know, that's, yeah. that's yeah. what it is. So that'd be good. If we can waste 2,000 hours of somebody's life, that's brilliant. <laughs> it's a weird, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So we've Jeff in Australia has hired Taikars yep. to do the True. drumming, the Taiko drumming. Yeah. Awesome, is, massive Taiko amazing. drums. Then, yeah. Yeah. And Jeff himself is back. Uh, yes. After, after, after a little sabbatical. Yes. Musical genius. Yeah. The musical genius that is Jeff. BAFTA award winning. Who won BAFTA? Yeah, BAFTA award winning Jeff and Dyke. Who won a BAFTA for Shogun 1. Shogun 1, yeah. exactly, yeah. For the music. The thing about those Tyco um, drums, it's just, yeah, it is just the. the it's an authentic noise. It's, it's, well, it's, it's not that. Are, are, are there any units in the game that carries drums into battle? Yes. Yeah, right. The, the drums and the noise is really important because it, it's very evocative and it actually sets the scene. Yeah, it's yeah, it's called the, the heartbeat of Japan, is the, you know, the type of mm. drumming. So it's sort of essential for, for our game, really. And we're doing the, rest of, the same with the rest of the music, making sure that we get as much uh, authentic Japanese instrumentation in there as we can. So, so Jeff's busy trying to replace what he'd normally do with violins with shamisen with, with yeah. and kotos. Yeah. 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 But it's, um, yeah. you've got to be authentic, but also you need to have like a modern twist so it feels contemporary yeah. and, and in place. With, sometimes. And, and, yeah, sometimes, not always, but it's... Yeah, we, we obviously can't hand animate thousands of animations, but... Um, yeah, so the mocap guys, we've got the British Kendo Association. Yeah. The strikes for uh, for Japanese uh, samurai, the actual physical sword strikes, are are based on the, the composition of their armor. So where you hit to kill. Yeah, so yeah. so you've got a kind of a grid of sword strikes. So going from neck through to here. So you're, you're missing the, the body armor, you're missing the head armor, you're missing the shoulder armor. So neck through to here, neck through to here, the reverse strikes. Uh, strike straight through the helmet, like that. And That's just sure. Yeah, and, and and also a strike straight straight through the throat. Mm -hmm. so. You need to demonstrate again. Uh, well, <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> if you want, we could actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's, it's good, yeah. <laughs> 
one of the biggest and most obvious things we've had external help on is the calligraphy for the logo. Mm, that's yep. right. The actual yeah. the logo is, is, is written by oh, a that, professional calligrapher that in calligraphy Japan. Guy yeah. Yeah. Is and he's, awesome. I mean, you know, he's absolutely fantastic. That, that is something we, th under no circumstances, could, could we Because I remember I asked yeah. if you could do it. Do you remember we had the fabric in the meeting room and I said to you, can you, can you guys take a, a brush and paint the fabric? And you said, absolutely no way. No. We yeah. tried to do that for Shogun War. Yeah, and it just yeah. doesn't work. It's, it's really, really difficult. difficult. Shogun, couldn't yeah. it? Calligraphy is the is kind of the high art of the, the East, the um, and really, there's uh, it would be impossible for us to do. The strongest aspect of Shogun Two for me is actually everybody else on the team. <laughs> it really sweet. is. It really is. It's a great team. It really is a great team. I've worked with some lunatics in the past. Um, uh, I am really enjoying the multiplayer. Um, not said. Okay. Um, I like the fact that it's a return to our roots, as it were. I think it's a good thing. I think we should go back and have a look at and have a look at things again and see what we can do. This new group. Hmm? Siege battles. Awesome. Mm. Oh, so difficult. Everything. Um, yeah, just everything. 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 I mean the AI, I mean the, 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 the visuals, the artwork, the multiplayer, everything. Just can't really put it down to one single thing. The thing I'm most excited about is the RPG system and the kind of personality you can give the characters. That's definitely my, my buzz for this one. Yeah. Uh, for me, it's got to be art style. I think it's just fantastic. 